right so these are the chondroblast cells and then when the blast when the chondroblast cells become mature and they lose the capability of producing the fibers and the ground substance of the connective tissue of the cartilage right they become chondrocyte right so same is the case which i discussed before right so chondroblast chondrocytes right they are the cells of the cartilage so the next type of connective tissue that we found in our body or is the cartilage and cartilage is also a connective tissue right the next group of cells which are present which are the permanent residents which are the permanently living in the connective tissue are called the adipocytes adipocytes now look carefully site means cells and adip means adipose tissue adipose <coughs> tissue now look carefully adipose tissue is another type of connective tissue which is present in our body and these are the tissue which store fats store fats right so the fat cells are called adipocytes and the adipocytes are present in adipose tissue and these are the cells which store fats inside their cytoplasm and inside their cell membrane so i will discuss about the adipocyte and adipose tissue in next coming lectures we will have full lectures about these connective tissues don't worry guys right so adipocyte is another type of permanent cell of connective tissue which is present in adipose tissue so adipose tissue is a type of connective tissue in our body right friends the next type of cell which is present permanently in the uh, yeah in the or we say that which is the cell of the connective tissue that is the chondroblasts i'm, I'm sorry odontoblasts we have discussed about chondroblast odontoblasts right these are the blast cells right which are present in teeth which are found in our teeth right so these are responsible for making uh, the teeth right for making the uh, yeah we say enamel of the teeth right so odontoblasts are also the cells of the connective tissue look one thing friends which i want to tell you guys and which is very important that is from where does all these cells of the connective tissues come look carefully very important from where does all these cells of the connective tissue comes let's go in a little bit detail the cells of connective tissue comes look carefully whenever there is ova and then there is the danger man which is called the sperm right and they meet with each other right and they do fertilize fertilization now look carefully friends when ova is fertilized it becomes zygote you know that it becomes zygote right now this zygote starts multiplying it becomes two cells then it becomes four cells then it becomes eight cells then it become 16 cells and then becomes marula right and then becomes barula right and then that becomes a blastocyst and blastocyst what happens all the cells which have newly produced they come to one side and what happens these are the cells and what happens here water comes inside and this is called blasto blastocyst cyst means uh, a cyst in which there is the blast cells pre present there and they are always dividing and producing something right so blastocyst and then what happens we will not take you very very far then what happens that all these cells arrange themselves in two layers right this is called bilaminal disc what is this all the cells which are present here in the blastocyst they have arranged themselves in two layers that's why we call them the bi laminal disc right bilaminal disc and it is about uh, uh, the two second week of gestation right at the second week of gestation period and all the cells are arranged in this manner now what happens then then what happens the cells which are in the upper layer 
they start dividing and all the new cells go inside these two layers and what happens then there is the arrangement of the uh, three cell layer or three layer of cells these are these were the old cells which were present in the bilaminal disc now the new cells have arised here and the they are called the now now it is called the trilaminal disc trilaminal disc it is the you will study in the embryology so this is trilaminal disc and this is the third week this is the third week of gestation right so trilaminal disc now look carefully this outer layer is called ectoderm ectoderm right and this is called endoderm endoderm now look carefully ectoderm and endoderm now here is three layers this is again the ectoderm ectoderm this is the endoderm right endoderm and what this middle layer is called this is called the mesoderm mesoderm and in this mesoderm the cells are called the mesenchyme cells right in this mesoderm the cells are called my friends mesenchyme mesenchyme chymal cells right so the mesenchymes or mesenchymal cells which are present in the mesoderm right these are the cells which are responsible for making all these connective tissue cells right friends so from where all these connective tissue cells come they come from mostly they come from mesenchymal cells which are present in the trilaminal disc right so the ectoderm the endoderm and the mesoderm and the mesoderm contain mesenchymal cells and these are the cytodifferentiating cells and they are the progenitor cells which make all these connective tissue cells and then uh, slowly slowly the connective tissues are formed in, a, in the body of the baby right so all these cells which i am discussing here they are coming from these mesenchymal cells i hope you are clear now so from fertilization up to the trilaminal disc formation and then from uh, in the trilaminal uh, laminal disc there is the mesoderm and in mesoderm there are mesenchymal cells and these mesenchymal cells are responsible to make all these cells right friends very good you are clear now so odontoblasts are responsible to make i will just say they make teeth right okay then there is another type of cell in the permanent cells right i'm saying in the permanent cells of the connective tissue there is another type of cell and that cell is called the let me write here the seventh one that is called the mast cell the most dangerous cell mast cell and my friends don't worry i'm right now just introducing the cells and then i will in the next lecture i will have a separate separate lecture on each of this cell in detail you will see and you will learn many things of so mast cell mast cell is also a connective tissue cell why because its progenitors are present in the mesenchymes that's why we call it as the mast as the connective tissue cell right and these are the cells which which are responsible for 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 providing immune responses whenever there is an allergic conditions they, they they produce immune responses and don't worry i told you i will go in detail of each cell in the next lecture so they produce immune responses and where are they present they are present all over the body around the capillaries around the blood vessels they are present there and beneath the skin and around the lymph nodes and everywhere they are present so don't worry i will uh, i will uh, have a separate lecture on this then the eighth type of cell which is present in the connective tissue which is the permanent cell of the connective tissue that is called the myoepithelial cells myo epithelial cells right where are these myoepithelial cells look carefully these are the epithelial cells which act as muscles look carefully these are the epithelial cells which act as muscles and what muscles do muscles have the property of contractility and relaxability so these are the cells which show contraction and relaxation and their progenitor cells are present in the mesenchymal cells that's why we call them also as a connective tissue cells right so what do they do they are present mostly mostly they are present around the ducts of the glands right so for example if this is a gland and this is its duct right this is a gland and these are the epithelial these are the cells of the gland right 
and the gland has secreted something and put it in the in the duct so what happens these myoepithelial cells are present around these ducts and whenever these cells contract they push the contents of the duct forward right so these are the myoepithelial cells right and don't worry i will have a lecture on these myoepithelial cells also separately so myoepithelial cells are also the permanent cells of the connective tissue right then there is another type of tissue another type of cell which is present permanently in the connective tissue those are called the pericytes pericytes so pericytes are the cells which are present around the cells look Piri means around, site means cells which are present around the cells which are present where. Look carefully friends. This is a blood capillary. For example, this is a blood capillary and in this blood capillary you know we have endothelial cells, right? Endothelial cells and below this endothelial cell there is the basement membrane you know well. These pericytes are actually present in this basement membrane these pericytes are actually found here why they are present here because they are responsible for performing different functions many important functions one of the function is that if there is any damage to this connect this epithelial cell what will happen the bl blood will ooze out from here and there will be hemorrhage but not this happens whenever there is damage to this endothelial cell layer these pericytes will fastly reproduce mitotically and they will <coughs> and they will <coughs> stop <coughs> the blood from coming out and they will stop uh, substances to enter the blood right so they will uh, start migrating to this area and they will stop everything which is very dangerous to the blood and the capillary so pericytes are present where they are present around the blood vessels mostly they are present there i will have a lecture on the pericyte also don't worry so that's this was also this is also a permanent connective tissue cell right then there is another type of cell which is permanently living in the connective tissue and that is the endothelial cells endothelial cells and endothelial cells are connective tissue cells why because their uh, their progenitors come from mesenchymal cells that's why we call them the connective tissue cells now look carefully where are endothelial cells all the blood vessels contain the endothelial cells and i will have a lecture on the endothelial cells also don't worry guys right so friends my dear friends these are some the uh, some of the permanent cells of the connective tissue osteoblast osteocyte chondroblast chondrocyte adipocyte odontoblast mast cells myoepithelial cells the pericytes and the endothelial cells these are the permanent cells and these are the tissue the cells which are permanently living in that connective tissue and they don't go anywhere now there are certain cells which come here and then go out and what are those transient cells or visiting cells or guest cells of the connective tissue they may be wbc's wbc's like macrophages macrophages like neutrophils neutrophils right like uh, um, uh, like uh, B cells, right? Like like lymphocytes. So what are these? These are the uh, visiting cells. These are the transient cells of the connective tissue. They enter the connective tissue, perform their function, and then come out or die there. Right, friends. So friends, we discussed about the cells of the connective tissue that there are permanent and transient cells these are the permanent cells these are the transient cells and in the next lecture we will start discussing osteoblast osteocyte osteochondroblast chondrocyte in detail see you guys in the next lecture till then love is